Hello, loves. Brandy's back. And yet again, she is late for bed. I am learning <laughs> through this process that if I were to wait until I had free time to create these videos, I would never go to bed on time because there's so many things that I like to, would want to, and have to do when I get home from work in order to work on all the other areas of life outside of work, that fitting this video in or, and it's a priority to me and I kind of feel like I don't want to go to bed without making one of these, means I'm going to stay up late each night. So that means I need to reshift how I'm doing these. It may mean creating these in the morning, which is a good insight in general. What I like to do, I like to have quantitative information uh, for just about every area of life. I mean, I track how much water I drink with a smart water bottle. I track my sleep like you saw in one of those other videos I created about the, the pillow app. Um, I track my habits, tracking a lot of things. Don't want to go overboard with it and cause my therapist any more concern. But I like to have data and information because I can use that to reassess and change behaviors. So putting this out here now that these videos need to start being made in the morning instead of at night, which means I need to start waking up a little earlier. Um, I actually made a video yesterday. Yesterday was a spectacular day where I woke up at 6 a.m. I got a lot of things done before I headed to work, uh, before I headed to work. Um, went into work. It was a beautiful day. It was The weather was gorgeous. I ate clean all day with the exception of a few pretzels at a meeting after work, which I already had a smoothie and a salad and vegan soup and all this other stuff. So I didn't feel bad about the few little pretzels that I had with hummus. Um, but yeah, after work, I went to a mastermind and innovated and came up with ideas for my business and to help others with their business. And then after that, I went to a contortion class, which it was my first time doing that, which felt like an extreme Bikram class. That's what contortion class feels like. Um, and I, I had some insights about grace and forgiveness of self and things like that. And I made this wonderful video talking about all this, went to upload it and wanted to upload overnight. And I woke up and something went wrong where the video didn't get onto YouTube. Um, and because I did it with a phone, it won't, I just can't get the video back. But I stuck to my commitments to myself and I don't shame myself because I made my video. Um, so that happened yesterday. <laughs> um, today, conversely, I woke up at 6.23, not 6 a.m. Um, I did not make a new smoothie. Um, so didn't have the greatest of breakfasts. I, instead of packing my lunch, it was a, a work picnic today. So we had Slows to go. And for those of you who aren't from Michigan, Slows is a barbecue restaurant. And they make all kinds of barbecue food. So I had, well, I did have a big salad and some uh, texturized vegetable protein, TVP. I also ate some chicken that was made with cheese. I had a crap ton of macaroni and cheese. And while I did have gluten-free cake, it was still cake that's covered in sugar. So after lunch, I felt like absolute crap. Felt very unproductive. Came home, worked on a little bit of stuff. Um, I had a phone call with my best friend, which rejuvenated me after what was a very different day than yesterday. Even the weather was completely different. Yesterday it was like 88. Today it was 60. Um, and I know one thing about myself that I've been shifting and been more conscious of. In the past, if I had a day like today, after I had a day like I had yesterday, I would ask myself, what's wrong with me? When, why am I doing this? I'm under my blah, blah, blah. And just start beating myself up. What I did today was acknowledge that, one, doing good yesterday wasn't an excuse for any of the behavior that I had today, right? Eating things that aren't in alignment with my health goals. Eating things I know will make me tired and exhausted and moody, um, which then make me unproductive. And yet... So, I, you know, 
it's not that I'm being myself. It's not that I'm giving myself a pass for the behavior that I have today, but realizing that it's not a defining factor of who I am, right? The choice to eat food at the company picnic is a choice. It's not me being a poor decision maker or me being an unhealthy person or any of those things. It was a choice that I made and it had consequences. And I am living through the consequences of my actions and my choices. Um, And one thing that I'm also working to be better at is acknowledging the good choices that I made, not as a way to blind myself from the negative choices that I made, but to also uh, not look at the world with negative filtering. So for example, when I did fix my plate today, the biggest area of my plate, you know how they have the plates with the sections? The biggest area was salad, right? <laughs> like I put a crap ton of salad on the plate before getting any of the other stuff. So there's barely any room for anything else. Um, and there was an option to have cake that wasn't gluten-free and I chose a gluten-free cake. And when I tried the cornbread, I realized it was a little sweet and I didn't have to finish it and I didn't finish it. Um, you know, I chose not to eat the candy that I had. That was an opportunity to eat. Um, I met my water drinking goals for the day. So I'm, I was hydrated. Um, I did two circuits of workout today. So instead of my seven minute workout, I did uh, 14 minutes of working out. You know, I made time and prioritized to talk to a good friend, even though I was feeling tired. So there, there were good decisions that I made amidst, <laughs> amongst the not so great decisions. And that's how life is. We'll make some good decisions at times and we'll make some bad decisions at times. And, you know, you want to acknowledge yourself and honor the good decisions you've made, but also examine the decisions you made that weren't the best or didn't have the best consequences and ask yourself, why? Why did I make those decisions? And then what could I do differently? How could I set myself up differently in the future to either remove the option to make that negative decision or make myself more prone to choose the best case decision, best case scenario? Um, so just thinking of things like that. And if I, if I were to ask myself that question for today, I would say what could have helped me is a habit that I already have that just broke, which was taking a smoothie to work. The amount of, because I take a big A smoothie to work. It's like bigger than this bottle. Um, It's like the neutral bullet, the big daddy. Um, If I would have taken that, I would have not only been hydrated, which we typically eat more when we're dehydrated because we're trying to to hydrate ourselves with food, which doesn't work. Um, So I would have been hydrated, but I also would have had a lot of nutrient already so I would my body wouldn't be trying to fuel itself with cheesy delicious goodness from slows it would be fueling itself with all this rich green you know nutrient dense food and then that other stuff I ate would have been you know secondary it wouldn't have been bad but I probably wouldn't have eaten as much of it as I did because I did have two plates of barbecue today um and barbecue includes the salad and the texture vegetable protein Anywho, um, one thing that I also find to be a theme that I'm examining in my life is that I keep bringing my conversation back to food. Uh, When I talk about my mood or when I talk about how good I'm doing in life or my progress and my goals, I keep ending back up in this conversation of food. And at one point I thought it was unhealthy. I'm like, I'm focusing way too much on food. But today re-emphasized for me how very important diet is in all other facets of life. When I eat right, like yesterday, I made progress on goals. I made time for my priorities. I was kinder. I was more compassionate. I had energy. Like I didn't need a nap. You know, I was adventurous. I was like, what if I try and take the cue line? Like I was, I was just, you know, innovative. So many things came out of me because my basics were covered. Um, Today, it was the opposite. I was not really present. I wasn't really aware. I wasn't really giving of my time to others. It was just a little, not all myself. I think it's because literally how we show up in the world is represented or is how we show up in the world 
comes in part from how we fuel ourselves. And you can fuel yourself in one of three ways, mind, body, or spirit. Um, body is the vehicle for two of those elements, right? If you're dead, <laughs> your spirit may still exist. Your mind's not doing much. If I don't know where mind fits in that. Anywho, mind, body, and spirit. Body is a big vehicle for the spirit and the mind to enact. And the fuel for the body is food and water and sleep and air. Um, so that's why the conversation keeps going back to that point. I'm rambling, but it's probably because it's past for that time. And because, like I said, ate some food today that's got me all wonky. Um, so how can I make this video nourishing to you, mind, body, or soul? I don't know. One thing that I read in Tim Ferriss's um, Tools of Titans book that I thought was insightful, I actually highlighted it. He said, oftentimes we try to think ourselves out of problems that aren't thinking problems. They may be problems that are related to not getting enough sleep, not having the right amount of hydration, not having the right you know, nutrition. And so we're trying to figure out, like, why can I get out of this thing where if we took away the time that we spent noodling over this thing and invested in prepping a meal or going to bed an extra hour earlier or doing a little bit of workout, it actually solved that problem because you're, you're freeing up your, you know, you're fueling your body to be able to best handle whatever difficult situation or challenge you're trying to embrace. So I'm really internalizing that. That lesson is what I guess this video is trying to say, but he said it succinctly and I should just quote that to begin with. Um, anywho, I hope you found this entertaining or nourishing mind, body, and soul. I hope that you remember that change is inevitable, but growth is a choice. I'm Brandi Keeler, and I will talk to you tomorrow.